Good morning, guys. Welcome to Reading Review. Let's talk about John Henry today. Let's review the vocabulary. Okay, boulder is a large frog worn away by water and weather. Glimpse is a short look, so it's like a sneak peek. Como un, vamos a echar un vistazo. Okay, hollered is cried. Look at the pictures of this boy. He's screaming. Okay, and we don't scream softly. We screamed loudly. So it's a synonym of cried or shouted loudly. Horizon is not the ocean, not the sun, not the sky. Is this line, this line, we can see, okay, where the earth and the sky seem to meet. This is the sky, this is the earth, okay? And seems that the two of them meet, meet, okay? That's a horizon, is that line, that line, which is, is, is just um, um, something we see, but actually didn't exist. It's not, a, it's not a, um, something we can touch, we can't, okay? It's the line where earth and sky seem to meet. Rhythm, rhythm, remember this word, rhythm. That's the correct pronunciation, read them. Okay, Brian, what are you looking at? Where is your monitor? Because you look like watching to one side. Read them, any movement with regular repetitions of a beat or accent, every kinds of, every type of every genre in music has a specific rhythm. By listening the rhythm, you say, oh, that's a salsa, that's a punta, oh, that's a reggaeton song, because of the rhythm, okay, because of the rhythm. Shrivert is shook, look at this boy, this, this man is shivering because of the cold weather, because of the low temperature. Also, a person can tremble or shook because of fear. When kids, especially kids, are frightened because uh, they know they did something where that was not correct, they got a gay and they are gonna get a punished. Sometimes kids fear. Um, not all parents, unfortunately, um, mm, treat kids well. So some kids, some children, unfortunately, are afraid from their parents. Um, and they tremble, they, the body, their body shook. Or also could they happen with excitement? Have you seen, um, if you have a dog, for example, if when, when you come back home and you haven't seen your pet for, for hours during a day, and you come back, the, bat, the dog trembles because of the excitement he or she has to see you again. It's so happy, the dog is so happy that its body trembles. And it's not because it is afraid or because it is cold. No, it's because it's too happy to see you again. A tunnel, an underground passage. Now, questions about the story. Let's see if you Please? remember. Yeah? Miss? Yes. Some dogs too, when they're, they call, they, they tremble. When they, when they call, when you call them. Uh-huh. Well, for example, when, they, when there is, for example, is, one one hundred and minus one three uh, minus one in in for example right now let's say that is one one minus one three so the dog is gonna be so cold and he's gonna tremble yeah 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 I know I know but uh, the example I gave is when the dog tremble because it's so happy it's so happy. Probably you don't 
Me and sometimes trumpet. my niece and sometimes my little dog. Some sometimes my little dog trembles of of it because he's a scared. Is a scared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I I was explaining. Different situations that uh cause a that cause trembler that cause yes trembles on different bodies in our bodies in animals body depends on the situation okay john henry this story is mostly about the meanest man in the state unicorns living in the woods the adventures of john henry what is this story? The Adventures of Most John Henry. Henry. Of John Henry, exactly. Adventures of John Henry. Alan, I would, I need your participation. When kids, this is something I was telling to my son. The most you participate, the most you know. So sometimes I know that we don't know everything, but kids just be, remain quiet most of the time. Um, number one, you are not interested in. Miss, my internet is slow. Okay. Number two, maybe you don't know. So that's what I told him, my son. The most you participate, the most you prove, you know. So it means that if you don't participate, it means you don't know. Please open your microphones and participate because all of you Word in class when we read this story. Then number two, what happened when John Henry was born? The sun didn't shine that day. Birds and animals came to see him. The story didn't mention a rainbow. And yeah, it mentioned the sun, but it happened on the second day. John Henry woke up before the sun and he screamed hey what are you waiting where is the light i need i have many things to do he screamed to the sun because the sun uh was not there was not shining because probably john henry woke up too early number three as everyone everyone okay everyone no every some, some of you say every be quiet, but every, this letter E is a silent letter. Everyone admitted a new baby. He suddenly began to grow. grow. Suddenly began to grow. That day, that day, that day he was born, he became like a little giant. Number four, how was John Henry different from other newborn babies? He was quite small for his age. He liked to sleep all day. He was fully grown in one day. Yeah, he was fully grown one day. In one day, in one day. That's why John Henry is a tall tale because this is an exaggeration. No one is fully grown in one day. No one. In a baby normal, he cannot grow. In one day. Like I... Adulto. Like an adult, yes, okay. fully grown in one day. That's not this possible. Is this is an interesting character, Ferret Face Freddy. He was a very mean, mean person, but became Frederick the Friendly after John Henry. Yeah, beat him in a race. Beat is derrotar, vencer. In a race, not because uh, John Henry fight with him and, and hit him in the face. No, no. Yeah. La letter B says beat him in a fight. No, they didn't fight. John Henry, um, John Henry uh, make a bet, una apuesta, okay, a race to be more specific, and John Henry won. John Henry won, so Frederick, Ferret Face Freddy changed, have to change the way he behaved because that was uh, his, he, he passed. You're going to be kind and polite. Ferret Face Freddy was a very mean person. And after the race, 
Uh, he was very polite and people used to call him Frederick the Friendly, not Ferret Space Freddy. The number six, John Henry was like a steam drill in that he was taller than most men, produced smoke and steam when he hammered. All hammer faster, faster, faster and harder than 10 men. The C. The C. Yes. This, this uh, passage, it talks about when John Henry helped to build the tunnel in the mountain. That he, he helped to open the tunnel in a mountain. The <laughs> workers here had a drill. They had a drill. Tenían un taladro. Yeah. Yesterday I don't read the story and I and I know the questions. Yeah, and and why 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 you know that the story? Because when we read the story, you pay close attention. Of course, if if I am watching a movie, but I am playing in the cell phone, and the movie finish, and if I and if someone asks me, what was the movie about? Mm, about, I could say it, about a dog because I saw a dog or because of the title of the movie. Uh, but that's it. And I am not going to remember anything else. Why? Because yes, the movie was in front of me playing, but my attention was not there. But we don't pay attention. My, the... attention, my attention was in my cell phone. I was playing something. Yeah, I the movie was in front of me. And sometimes that was happening to you. I am in front of you speaking, 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 speaking. You are there, yeah. But your attention is not on me. Your attention is probably in something else. You, you could have a cell phone. You could have the televisions in front of you or more simpler or more simple or simpler than that. You can have a person, person, or you can have a couple of people having a chat, a conversation, and you are listening to them, <gasps> listening what they are speaking, okay? Or you just focus on the drawing you are doing on your notebook. Yeah, you are there, but you are not paying close attention. That's why some of you didn't remember, didn't know the answer for these questions. More questions. Why do you think John Henry challenges Fred face Freddy to a race? Why? I mean, I uh, think so because because they do a bet. And John Henry, for example, said, "If if I win the race, you're gonna be nice and polite. Okay. But if you if I if I don't win." You will be, you will be like, for example, like he was before to turn. Daniel. Aha. Uh -huh. Another opinion. No one else remember the story. Another opinion. Because your Henry was faster. Mm, okay. Another one. Another opinion? Um, John Henry, well, Fred Face Fred was a mean, mean man. He was a mean person. So John Henry tried it's like root root. He was rude. Yeah, yeah, he was very tough. Um, so John Henry want a change in his behavior. In his behavior. So that's why. Um, that's why Hen John Henry um, make the make a bet. See, John Henry is confident. Confident is a confianza. So he knew that he can do it. He was confident he will win and wants Ferret face Freddy to be nice for a year. Nice, okay, nice. A nice person. That's what John Henry wanted. 
John Henry Wanten, a nice ferret face Freddy. So, how does ferret face Freddy change after he loses, uh, he loses the race? How did he change? Uh -huh. happy. He was happy? A smile. A smile. Hey, Freddy, Freddy faced friendly. I don't know how to. The, he turns nice. He turns, exactly. He's polite now. Exactly. That was the change. He becomes a nice person. He becomes a nice person. He was rude. He was mean. He was cruel. Probably he was a violent person. But after he loses the race, he becomes a nice person. Okay. It was um, an incredible change in him. The last one, three, John Henry sings as he works. What does this tell you about him? When you are doing something, when you are cleaning your room, organizing your clothes, when you're doing homework and you sing, what does that behavior tells about you? What does that tells about John Henry? Mm -hmm. Happy. Happy, definitely. Right, Alan, ¿por qué se acuesta? That love, love is work. Exactly, exactly. And that's another thing. When you see a person that is smiling, I am doing my job and I am singing, I am smiling because it is happy and that person loves what, what he or she does. Because being in a, in a work that it is... Um, Mm, fastidioso, let's say, annoyed, molesto. So people is grumpy. Son um, gruñones. Okay, that's why he is happy when he's working. Definitely. Ryan, for the next class, I need light. Yo veo la silueta negra in the camera. Y usted también la ve. So we need light there, please. Okay, so I hope you're getting ready for exams. Don't wait until, until the last moment to study, to review, please. Okay, see you in the next class. Bye-bye. Bye, Miss. Bye, Miss. Bye, Miss.